microphone. Check one, two, three. You ready for some Tai Chi today? Hi there. A couple people commented they loved it when I jumped in yesterday. So I, I thought I'd do something a little different. So welcome to Thursday, day four of week two. Uh, so uh, those of you that don't live in St. Louis, you probably don't understand why I'm wearing a Cardinal shirt instead of a, uh, uh, instead of a Tai Chi shirt. However, um, if you live in St. Louis, you understand today is like a national holiday or city 
uh, area-wide holiday. Uh, today would have been opening day for the Cardinals, so I had to wear my Cardinal shirt and, of course, uh, the great, the man, Stan, the man, Musial. So um, I hope everybody's doing well today. It looks like another beautiful day outside. Um, my uh, Sophia, my lovely producer, informed me that today was International Children's Book Day. Uh, so, what's your favorite book? What's your favorite children's book? Sophia, what's your, what was your favorite book as a child? The Dr. Seuss. It's Dr. Seuss. Which one? Anyone in particular? All the Places Will Go. All the Places Will Go. Um, mine is probably I'll Love You Forever. Uh, that's a great book. I love that one. It always brings a tear to my eye. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, welcome to the Cardinal opening day that is, was not to be, but you know what? We'll have one. We'll get there. We'll have one and we'll celebrate. Um, let me see. I think that's everything. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can type them in on YouTube chat. Sophia is monitoring that. Um, today we are going to be doing... Um, this is gonna be a Tai Chi for everyone class. So we're gonna go through our breathing and warm up exercises, of course. Um, then we're gonna go into a little bit about how to build leg strength and something like a daily regimen that you can help yourself with. I'm gonna do that after the warm ups, and then we'll walk through uh, Tai Chi for arthritis a little bit, okay? Uh, second hour, we'll take a 15 minute break, 11.15, 12.15, 2.12.15. Um, gonna th be throwing a couple new things at you. Um, a lot of times on the uh, second hour, sometimes I do stuff that's more advanced. Uh, this uh, second hour isn't going to be necessarily more advanced. I'm going to throw some new things at you, but they're really cool things. So stick around for that. Um, we're going to be doing Tai Chi for rehabilitation, which is a nice little three. Uh, there's only three movements to it, but they're beautiful movements. It makes for this real beautiful form. And then we're going to be doing Qigong five element breathing very very relaxing uh, I studied with Dr. Lam uh, last fall on the Qigong five element breathing it was really it's a real beautiful exercise so all right I looked is that everything Sophia all right uh, and just for those of you that are uh, are, are spelling out there Qigong is spelled Q-I-G-O-N-G uh, you'll see it's spelled all kinds of different ways, but the way that I normally spell it, most common spelling is G-I-G-O-N-G. -G. So, right hand, fist, power, left hand, fingers together, friendship, tucking the thumb, remaining humble, fist into the palm, and we say welcome or ni hao. It is certainly good to see everybody out there. Um, Let's start off with some deep breathing exercises. Standing in the Wuji position, feet shoulder, hip distance apart. Slight bend in the knees, dropping the tailbone. Head is lifted by a silk thread. Long, slow, deep belly breathing. Let's begin. Inhale and exhale. Big, deep belly breath in and Breathe out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Push the hands in front of us next. Hands up in front of the cardinal emblem. Exhale. Push the palms forward. Inhale. And exhale. Big deep belly breath in. Breathe out, push out. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Arms over the head. Inhale. Hands up in front of the heart. Exhale, gently push the palms to the ceiling. Yell, go Cardinals. Inhale and exhale. Again, big deep belly breath in. Breathe out, gently pushing up. 
inhale and exhale. And one more time. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Pushing the arms to the side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Long, slow, deep breath in. Long, slow, deep breath out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Arms in the diagonals. Inhale, hands up in front of our heart. Exhale, left hand up, right hand down. I'm mirroring you. Inhale. And exhale, right hand up, left hand down. Inhale. We're making the legs of an X as we exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep looking straight ahead. Keep the upper body straight. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale, relax the hands down. Flap the arms like bird wings. Big, deep belly breath in. Do what is comfortable for your shoulder. Do not be stressing your shoulder out. Exhale. Again, big, deep belly breath in. Exhale. Relax the hands down. Nice and slow. I'm not letting the arms drop. I'm feeling resistance in all directions. Like I'm picking weights up, bringing them up over my head. And then exhale. I'm pushing something down. And last breathing exercise, gathering chi, big, deep belly breath in, long, slow, deep breath out. Inhale, fill those lungs up with air. Exhale, relax the hands down. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do that three more times. Long, slow, deep breath in. Let that wave of calmness wash over your body as you breathe out. You have so much to be thankful for. Inhale, fill those lungs up with air. Breathing out, relaxing the hands down. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. That's our breathing exercises. Everybody's still breathing, right? All right. That's a good thing. That's a little Tai Chi joke. All right. Everybody good so far? They, oh, they liked me. <laughs> they liked me peeking in. Good. Sweet. All right. Um, I'm going to cough here. So, okay. Um, we're going to move on. We're going to do our warm up exercises next. Okay. So, these are 12 exercises two for the neck, then the shoulders, lower spine, hips, knees, and ankles. We work our way down, our, down the body. Uh, we use these exercises. Um, first off, they're just a great way to kind of get the whole body up and moving. Uh, but we use this to teach ourselves the principles of Tai Chi, and then we can apply those principles as we do the form. Okay. So we're going to start at the neck, move down from there. 
First one, chin tuck. We look straight ahead. Keep that chin nice and level as you do this one. You feel like someone's kind of gently uh, pushing back on the chin and you feel this nice stretch on the back of your neck. Okay? All right. Knees bent, tailbone dropped, heads lifted by the silk thread. A beaming smile is radiating from our faces. We're going to inhale the hands up in front of us. Exhale as we tuck in the chin, looking straight ahead. Rotate the palms out. The chin gently floats up. Exhale, sink the chin to the chest. Again, we bring the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin. Nice, gentle stretch. Rotate the palms out. The chin gently floats up. Exhale, sink the chin to the chest. And one more time, we bring the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin. Nice, gentle stretch. Rotate the palms out. The chin gently floats up. Exhale, sink the chin to the chest. Awesome. Next neck exercise, looking side to side. We're going to inhale to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand is on top. Watch the right hand going over the right shoulder, looking right, pushing down on the left. Inhale, come back to center. Come back to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, now the right hand is on top. Watch the left hand going over the left shoulder, looking left, pushing down right. Inhale, come back to center. Prayer hands, Tai Chi ball, left hand is on top. Right hand over the right shoulder, looking right, pushing down left. Inhale, come back to center. Back to prayer hands, Tai Chi ball, right hand on top. Left hand, left shoulder, gently pushing down on the right. And then inhale, come back to center. Back to prayer hands. One more time, Tai Chi ball, left hand on top. Right hand over the right shoulder, looking right, pushing down left. Inhale, come back to center. Come back to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, right hand on top. Left hand, left shoulder, gently pushing down on the right. Inhale, come back to center. Back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Forward shoulder circles. Don't force the shoulders nice and gentle. Bring the shoulders back, then up, then forward and down. Notice I'm keeping my hands down by my sides. Shoulders back, up, forward, and down. One more time. Shoulders back, up, forward, and down. I'm concentrating the movement on my shoulders. Now reverse that. Shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. Shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Excellent. Gathering chi, gently reaching for infinity. Inhale, we're gently reaching out, reaching up. Exhale, relax the hands down. Again, gently reaching out, reaching up. Feel that nice stretch. And exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. One more time. Feel that nice stretch in your chest and back, elbow, shoulder. Exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. Touching heaven and earth. We're lifting the head up by that silk thread extending our spinal column. Inhale to prayer hands. Exhale, left hand is up, right hand is down. Float the head gently to the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Right hand is up, left hand is down. Again, gently float the head to the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Left hand up, right hand down. Nice, gentle stretch. Inhale, back to center. Right hand up, left hand down. Exhale, relax into the stretch. Inhale, back to center. Make sure that you are looking straight ahead as you do this. Left hand up, right hand down. Float the head gently to the ceiling. 
Inhale, back to center. Keep the body straight. Exhale, relax into the stretch. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to center. Two prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Very nice. Carrying the ball side to side, not moving the hips, turning just the upper body to the left and right. But by turning the upper body, I'm turning my belly button. I'm not just turning the head, not just turning the shoulders, but I turn my belly button left and then right without moving the hips. That's all. Prayer hand position. Tai Chi ball, left hand is on top. Exhale to the left. Inhale the ball over, right hand is on top. Exhale, gently sweep and turn right. Inhale the ball over, left hand is on top. Exhale, gently sweep and turn left. Inhale the ball over, right hand is on top. Exhale, gently sweep and turn right. Inhale the ball over, left hand is on top. Exhale, sweep, gently turn left. Inhale the ball over, right hand is on top. Exhale, gently sweep and turn right. Oh, that feels so good. Let's do it one more time. Inhale the ball over, left hand is on top. Exhale, left. Inhale the ball over, right hand is on top. Exhale, to the right. And then inhale the ball over, come back to center, prayer hands, exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. Shake those legs loose. We're halfway through the warm-up exercises. If you need a chair for balance, now is a good time to grab that chair, okay? I want everyone to stay safe. And since I'm not able to see you, <clears throat> it is up to you to be very diligent about staying safe, okay? So take that chair, turn, don't put it in front of you, put it to the side of you. Let me demonstrate really fast. I'm gonna grab a chair and demonstrate really fast. We wanna put the chair to the side of us, all right? We turn it sideways next to us with the back facing us. Um, and this gives us kind of almost like a rail or a banister to hold on to. And if you're having a really bad balance day, you can set a second chair to the other side of you, okay? Um, I even sometimes with, uh, with some of my classes uh, where people need to sit down during the classes, I'll have a chair to either side of them and I'll put a chair behind them so they can easily sit down if they need to, okay? So if you need to do that, do that. Whatever is safe for you, it's up to you to make sure that you stay safe, okay? All right, so work on your posture, keeping the body nice and straight. Um, we are trying to teach the body to balance all of the weight onto one leg, okay? Um, this is an important part of balance. Until you can balance all your weight onto one leg, um, walking and being in, in a, uh, turning and that type of thing are going to be much harder for you, all right? So we're trying to teach the body to balance all the weight onto one leg. Okay, side to side hip exercises. Prayer hand position. We push to the right, weight to the right, all the weights on the right foot. You can leave that left foot on the floor. You can tap that foot or extend the foot out. Set the left foot down, weight shift left, bend in the left knee. You can leave the right foot on the floor. You can tap the right foot on the floor or you can float the right foot. Come back to center. Weight shifts right, bend in the right knee, tap or extend that left leg. Come back through center, push left, weight left, bend in the left knee, tap or extend the right leg. Come back to center, one more time. Push right, weight right, tap or extend the left leg. Come back through center, push left, weight left, you can gently leave that foot on the ground if you want to, but tapping it or floating it, even better. Come back to center and relax the hands down. Beautiful. <clears throat> now, forward and backward hip exercise. I like to call this the Chinese hokey pokey. Use your chair, stay safe. I'm tapping the heel in front of me, tapping the toe behind me. As I get better with balance, I'm able to extend that toe further further, uh, but keep it in close as you start. Keep the upper body straight. The weight 
the leg that the weight is on, that knee stays bent. I keep looking straight ahead of me and this helps keep my back straight, okay? All right, forward and backwards. Chinese hokey pokey, weight shifts right. Put your left foot in and you put your left foot out. See how that works? Empty on the heel, empty on the toe. Notice I have space between my feet. One more time, empty heel and empty toe. Come back to center. Other side, weight shifts to the left. Empty right heel, hands behind us. Empty right toe, hands in front of us. Empty on the heel, empty on the toe. One more time, empty heel. <clears throat> and empty toe and back to center beautiful all right next heel kick I want everyone to stay safe okay four motions with the leg first we're picking the leg up second we're kicking the leg out third picking the leg back up don't forget this step fourth floating the foot to the ground keep the body straight in this direction keep the back straight in this perspective and the leg that's on the ground again keep that knee bent don't lift up and lock that knee out okay if you're able to punch out the opposite hand great go ahead and do that okay if you need to hold on to your chair please do that again I want you to stay safe okay and I can't see you so it's up to you to make sure that you are safe <clears throat> hands loosely clenched at the belt line these are nice loose fists. The Chinese say it's like you're holding on to a canary. You don't hurt the thing, but you don't let it get away either, okay? Weight shifts to the right, bending the right knee. Pick up that left leg, heel kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up that left leg and float the foot to the ground. Weight shifts to the left, pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out the left fist if you are able to. Pick up the right leg and float the foot to the ground. Weight shifts right, pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Weight shifts left, pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out the left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Beautiful, 100 more times. Weight shifts right, pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Weight shifts left, pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out the left fist. Pick up the right leg and float the foot to the ground. Beautiful, shake those legs loose. Next is the bow stance. Stepping out empty is an empty step forward. I touch down my heel and my toe, but there's no weight on that foot. All the way to staying on the back leg. I keep my knees bent, keeping the knees soft. I shift weight forward. I go to about 70% on the front, keeping 30% on the back. Upper body stays nice and straight, not leaning forward. Keep a good straight back on this one. Keep looking straight ahead as you do this, all right? If you're able to punch out the opposite hand, great. If you need to hold on to the chairs instead, that's wonderful. Whatever you need to do to stay safe. When the weight shifts back, make sure you get all the weight on the back foot before you pick up that front foot. Sometimes we get in a habit as, the, as we come back, we automatically pick that foot up. Want it to be two separate things. We weight shift back, then we pick up the foot and come back to center, okay? It's just about 20 things to remember um, all simultaneously, so good mind-brained exercise, all right? So, Wuji position, weight shifts to the right, step out empty, left foot, and then weight shifts left, punch out the right fist. Weight shifts back, and we come back to center. Weight shifts left, step out empty right, and bow stance. 
Weight shifts back, come back to center. Weight shifts to the right, step out empty left. Bow stance. Weight shifts back, come back to center. Weight shifts left, step out empty right, and bow stance. Weight shifts back, and come back to center. One more time. Weight shifts right, step out empty left, bow stance. Weight shifts back, come back to center. Weight shifts to the left, step out empty right, and bow stance. Weight shifts back, and come back to center. Awesome. Ankle exercises. Weights on the right, left foot, touch heel, and toe. Heel and toe. Heel and toe. Then weight shifts to the left, right foot, heel and toe. Heel, toe, heel and toe. Weight shifts back to the right, left foot, touch little toe outside of the foot, big toe inside of the foot. Little toe, big toe, outside and inside. Then weight shift left, right foot. Little toe, big toe, outside, inside. Little piggy, big piggy. And back to center. Awesome. Shake those legs loose. Okay. Uh, get yourself a drink of water. Um, let's uh, start with part two. I'm going to get myself a drink. Remember that it's very important that we stay hydrated during these times. We put our body in a lot of stress when we dehydrate, so make sure that you are drinking plenty of water, okay? <clears throat> I was having a discussion, or I, I was uh, telling a gentleman uh, about how to build leg strength up. And so I wanted to go back to a few basics uh, for some of my people. So I started a blog in 2020, and um, it came to me after a couple weeks in the blog. I have a perfect little tagline, uh, because I try and encourage people to be doing Tai Chi every day in my classes, even though I see... Uh, most, most of my students I see once a week. Some of my students I'm blessed and I get to see them several times a week. Um, but my goal is, is to get everyone doing Tai Chi a little bit every day, okay? So I started a mantra called 20 in 2020. And the 20 is 20 minutes. So practice 20 minutes of Tai Chi um, every day in 2020 and feel your health grow, okay? So, um, the 20 minutes consist of 10 minutes of deep breathing and 20 minutes of Tai Chi. And if you can achieve that during your day, um, you're going to see your health improve um, within a month, uh, which is actually fairly rapid. Um, you might even see it even quicker. Some of my students have uh, emailed me and said, oh, I love these online classes because I get to be with you every day. It's helping develop a habit of doing Tai Chi, and I'm feeling better already doing it. Um, it also helps us to stay in community, which is really nice also. But I wanted to go back and just talk a, a little bit and go over a few exercises, okay? So when you first start doing Tai Chi, you can get overwhelmed by all the different exercises. Even something as what seems as simple as the warm-up exercises can start to become overwhelming to you, okay? So I always recommend start out with three things. Work on three things. Everybody can pretty much remember three things. So work on that 10 minutes of deep breathing is one of the best things you can do, especially during this time, all right? Remember that uh, uh, coronavirus is a respiratory infection. So you wanna make sure that you are um, keeping your lungs fresh, okay? And getting lots of oxygen in your body, get used to taking deep breaths. This is very, very important. Uh, important for a second reason, because it helps build and keep our immune system strong. 
So it's really important that you do deep breathing every day. You can do it whenever you like. You can do it when you get up in the morning. Some of my students like to do it before they go to bed because it helps them relax and go to sleep. But that 10 minutes of deep breathing is very, very important, okay? I'm gonna grab a chair and I'm gonna show you the other exercise. So that's the first thing is 10 minutes of deep breathing. Second thing is the heel kick exercise. I, uh, my Tuesday mornings, I've dedicated to seated exercises, so I can go into this in more detail on Tuesday, but I just wanna show everyone seated heel kick, sitting up nice and straight and tall, feet flat on the floor. I rock forward on the pelvis. I pick the leg up. I kick the leg out, punching out the opposite hand, pick the leg up and set the foot down. And then the other side, same, same. Pick the foot up, kick out, punching out opposite hand, pick up the leg and set the foot down. Excellent. That's the heel kick. Do three of those every day or in the perfect world, you would want to do three of those three times a day. I think it's always a good idea to, um, you make sure that you eat three meals a day, right? So, and when the meal is over, push back from the chair and do a couple of those heel kick exercises. It's a really good way to build leg strength up, okay? And it's very important for us to have strong legs. That's very, very there's a lot of, a uh, lot of elements that go into having good balance, but having strong legs is definitely one of them, okay? And then the third exercise is the ankle exercise, touching heel and toe, heel and toe. This is good for chronic conditions, so this is good for Parkinson's, it's good for MS. Um, if you have diabetes, you should be doing this several times a day. Um, you're essentially, you're pumping blood into your legs when you do the ankle exercise. You can do it from a chair like I'm doing it now, or if you want to make your legs even stronger, shift all the weight one leg like I just demonstrated at the end of the warm up. So now I'm exercising, again mirroring, I'm exercising my left leg while my right foot is touching heel and toe. So I'm pumping blood into my right leg while strengthening my left leg. And then I shift over now, strengthening the right leg as I'm pumping blood through my left leg. This is also good for swollen ankles, foot neuropathy, numbness of the feet, tingling of the feet. A lot of my students have said they have had uh, a lot of release, relief from restless leg syndrome by doing those heel toe exercises. So there you go, the big three. Deep breathing, heel kick, ankle exercise. All right. Another exercise, if you want to like supercharge getting your legs stronger, two other things you can do. First off is get used to standing in this Wuji position. Get out of the habit of standing with your knees locked or even worse doing this where you kick the, the hip out and now this leg is locked and my hip is out and all of a sudden I start having back and hip and knee issues. Instead, learn to stand in this Wuji position. When you're doing things around the house, you're doing the dishes, in your workshop, um, whenever you're standing, uh, standing in line, keeping your six feet uh, from the person in front of you at the grocery store, um, bend those knees, you're activating, you're working the leg muscles when you do that, okay? All right, so that's one thing that you can do. Um, the other thing is this exercise, and I like to call this one the dragon dance. Uh, this is, uh, Robert, this is one that you want to remember out there, okay? Okay. So we start, Wuji position, knees bent, tailbone dropped, head lifted by the silk thread. We weight shift to the left and right foot is the cat stance. Tapping the right toe next to the left foot. Then tap the right toe out in front of us empty. Come back into the cat stance once again. Tap right toe out to the side. Come back into the cat stance. Tap the right toe behind us. All the weight stays left. Use your chair if you need to. Cat stance once again. And step into the Wuji position. Very nice. Other side, weight shifts right. Bend in the right knee, left foot. Cat stance. Tap left toe out in front. 
and back into the cat stance. I'm keeping all the weight on my right leg. Tap left toe out to the side and come back into the cat stance. And tap the left toe behind us. Notice I'm keeping space between my feet. I'm not tucking it in behind my other foot. Come back into the cat stance and step into Wuji. Excellent, shake your legs loose. Now, as you get better with that exercise, I'm teaching you to tap your foot. As you get better with that exercise, you can actually work on floating the foot over the ground. So I'm floating my foot here, I'm floating it in front, floating it back, it's not touching the ground. All the weight is definitely staying on my left leg because my right foot isn't even touching the ground. Okay, so you can do that if you want. Um, when your balance gets a little better, that's a nice little goal to work towards. Several of my students are able to do that, and that's awesome. And the difference is, is they practice at it, okay? All right, let's do round two. If you notice after that exercise, you notice you're breathing just a little heavier because you're using the large muscles of the body. Uh, the quadriceps and I believe the hamstring, the quadriceps are the largest muscle group in the body. Um, I believe the hamstrings rate a close second, if not, if they are not are the second. Okay. All right. Round two. Weight shifts left, right foot, cat stance. Yeah. Tap, right toe out in front of us, empty. Then set that right foot down with no weight on it. And now shift the weight on to the right. All the weight's right, so I can tap the left toe behind me, or I can float the left foot behind me. And then set the left foot down, but don't put any weight on it yet. Now shift weight left, and right foot, cat stance once again. Tap, or the be right foot to the side. Tap the right foot out to the side. Keep all your weight left. Keep your weight left as you set the right foot down. Now shift weight to the right, all the weights right, tap the left foot or float the left foot if you prefer. Set the left foot down, no weight on it yet. Now shift weight left and right cat. That's my daughter Sophia by the way. Tap the right foot behind us. This is the this is the exciting one. So set the right foot down behind us, but don't put any weight on it. Now shift the weight back onto the right. Tap the left toe or float to the left toe in front of us. Set the left foot down, no weight on it. Weight shifts left and right cat stance. And step into Wuji. Awesome, other side. Weight shifts right, left foot, cat stance. Yeah. Tap, left toe, out in front, empty. Set the left foot down. Now weight shift to the left. All the weight goes left, allowing me to tap the right toe or float the right toe behind me. Notice upper body is staying nice and straight. Set the right foot down. Weight shifts right and left cat stance. Tap, left toe out to the side. Set the left foot down, no weight on it, keep your weight right. Now shift weight left, bend in the left knee, right foot, tap or float. Keep that upper body nice and straight. Set the right foot down, but don't shift weight onto it yet. Now shift weight right and cat stance once again and now the exciting one tap the left toe behind us set the left foot down no weight weight shifts back onto the left now the right foot is empty so i can tap or float the right toe in front of me then set the right foot down weight shifts to the right left cat stance and Wuji position. 
Beautiful, shake those legs loose. That's a tough exercise to do. A great way to build leg strength though. And I see people that do that exercise and I see their balance improving every week when I just see them uh, once a week. So imagine how much they will improve if they do it every day, all right? Um, and one of the coolest examples, I don't know if he's watching or not, not Michael, who has Parkinson's disease, um, he does that exercise. He doesn't touch his foot to the ground the whole time. He's amazing to watch him do that exercise. I hope he's watching today. Mike's a great man, a uh, good family man. Okay, let's do, um, oh man, there's so many things we can do. Let's do a hand exercise. I'm going to come in a little closer here so you can see the, see the Cardinal jersey. See? Go Cards. Let's do a hand exercise. This, we'll do a simple one today. So touch the thumb to the palm of the hand and then stretch and open that hand out. Then touch the pointer finger to the palm and stretch, open that hand out. Touch the middle finger to the palm of the hand. Feel that stretch in the arm. And stretch, open up the hands. Touch the ring finger to the palm. And stretch, opening up the hand. And then touch the pinky to the palm. Stretch, opening up the hand. Once again, thumb to the palm. Stretch, open up the hand. Touch pointer finger to the palm. Stretch, open up the hand. Touch the middle finger to the palm. Stretch that hand. Touch the ring finger to the palm. Stretch that hand. And then touch the pinky to the palm. And stretch the hand. Not only a hand exercise, I should call that an arm exercise too. Um, okay, um, let's do the prayer wheel. But I want to show you a second version. Some of my students know this second version already. Um, but if you don't, now you will. Um, so two versions of the prayer wheel today. Uh, first one, uh, first off the basics, make sure that you're doing the weight shifting just like the bow stance. We step out empty, we weight shift forward, and we weight shift back. This is the primary thing that you want to work on with this exercise, the weight shifting forward and the weight, now the weight shifting forward and the weight shifting backwards. Notice my knees stay bent, my back stays straight. I'm looking straight ahead of me. That helps me keep my back straight, okay? With my hands, it's like I'm holding on to a ball and moving that ball in a big, beautiful circle. So let's give this a shot. We're going to start by weight shifting to the right, step out empty with the left foot, and then begin the prayer wheel. Exhale, weight shifts forward. Inhale, weight shifts back. Exhale, weight shift forward. Inhale, weight shifts back. Exhale. And inhale. Weight shifts forward. Weight shifts backwards. Exhale. And inhale. Now, all the weight is right, so the left foot is empty. I can pick up the left foot and come back to center. Other side, weight shifts left. Step out empty right and continue. Exhale, weight shifts forward. Inhale, weight shifts back. Notice I am not rocking up on my heel and toe. My feet are staying solidly rooted to the ground. Exhale, weight shifts forward. Inhale, weight shifts back. Two more times. Exhale and inhale. You can work the shoulders with this one a little bit also. As you exhale, reach out. Feel the stretch in your arms and back. And inhale, pull the shoulders in and feel the stretch in the chest. Now, all the weights left, pick up the right foot, come back to center, prayer hands, relax the hands down. Second version, weight shifting remains absolutely the same. We just do something a little different with our hands, all right? So we start out with our hands down by our sides. We weight shift to the right and step out empty left. We bring our arms up, hands up, shoulder height. 
As we weight shift forward, we bring the hands forward, right about shoulder distance apart. Then we rotate the palms up, and as we weight shift back, we bring the hands back down to the belt line. Then back out and around, weight shift forward, hands forward. Rotate palms up, weight shifts back, hands to the belt line. We weight shift forward, rotate palms up, weight shifts back. Bring those hands back to the belt line, not up here, to the belt line. Exhale, inhale, feet stay flat on the ground. Weight shifting is exactly the same just doing something different with our arms. Now you can give your arms a really good stretch, really good workout. You can reach out and open the shoulder. Don't force anything, but feel that nice stretch. Weight shifts back, all the weights right. Pick up the left foot, come back to center. Weight shifts to the left, step out empty right, and continue. Exhale, weight shifts forward. Inhale, weight shifts back. Exhale. And inhale. Weight shifts forward. And weight shifts backwards. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. Now, all the weight is on my left foot. Right foot's empty. Pick up the right foot back to center and relax the hands down. Awesome. That's, so that's two versions of the prayer wheel, okay? Um, really helps open up the shoulder. If you're having shoulder issues, that's a really good one to help you with that, okay? Okay, so we've been working in this class on the Tai Chi for arthritis form, developed by Dr. Paul Lam, Soon style of Tai Chi. Um, I have some pretty good detailed descriptions of that on uh, previous videos. So check my video from videos from week one. I go into detail on the beginning six movements, and it looks like we have lost her. What the heck's up with that? All right, so... Um, so I'm going to talk for just a minute. Sophia's going to rotate the battery out. Um, stay tuned. The picture's going to go blank in just a second here. Um, Sophia will have it back up and working in just a moment. Um, okay, so anyway, soon style of Tai Chi developed by Dr. Paul Lam. Go back into previous week's videos. And uh, you can, I, I go into detail on a lot of those. Uh, on, a, on a, a lot of the movements there. Uh, one week I go into detail on the more towards the door side. There you go. More into detail on the basic six and then the advanced six. So I want to touch for just a minute on the um, cloud hands move, okay? So I'd like to do that just from the front uh, just to give everyone an idea. Then, then we'll work on it together, okay? So. This is the soon style of waving hands like clouds. So do, watching this face on, the first move is a single whip to the right. Uh, and I begin by weight shifting back to the left, right foot in and the right hand is down. I step out with the right foot and then I shift hands. The weight is staying on my left. I'm not marrying you here. So I step out empty with the right foot. It stays empty. It's in solid contact with the ground. Uh, but all the weight is staying left, and as I shift my hands, now the right hand is on top, and now I'm going to sweep and weight shift to the right, and I bring all the weight to the right foot. I step in with the left foot. Notice I'm keeping plenty of space between my feet, and then I shift hands. The weight is staying on the right. Now the left hand is palm up, right hand is palm down, and I sweep and weight shift left, okay? I want you to notice something else about my hands as I do this. Notice the lower hand, it's not up here, but it's down here. Um, my navel is right here, so it's actually below my navel, kind of below my belt line. Notice it kind of has a round look to it, all right? Upper hand is right in front of my heart, so it's not up in front of my face, uh, but it's down in front of my heart, okay? So I step out, 
I shift hands, right hand is now on top, and I sweep and weight shift right. Again, notice the hand placement. I step in, notice as I step in, I keep space between my feet. Shift hands, sweep and weight shift left. Let's do that one more time. I step out, then I shift hands, then I shift my weight. Or as I like to say, step, shift, and sweep. What the heck? Let's do it one more time. Step, shift, sweep, or feet, hands, and weight. Beautiful. All right. That's cloud hands. Wave hands like clouds. Um, it's a beautiful movement. It's a tough movement to do. It takes some diligence to do that one, okay? Okay. So let's go through Tai Chi for arthritis. Let's run through it. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to do a little bit of cueing for you here, uh, not detailed instruction. Uh, cueing is, is I'm telling you what the moves are going to be, okay? Ultimately, I'd like to go through this where you know the moves in your head, and I can shut up and not say a thing, and you just go through the movements. Um, but until then, um, I'm going to cue a little bit. Uh, to let you know what you should be doing, okay, and things to look for, okay? Any other questions? All right. So we start. This is going to be a follow-on. Heels together, feet at a 45-degree angle. We begin, ironically, with commencement. So I pick the hands up in front of me, sink down. Weight shifts to the right as I step out empty left, bringing the hands up to the chest. Weight shifts left, right foot forward. Back to prayer hands, open and close. Single whip to the right, I weight shift left. I adjust the right foot, push both hands forward and then flatten, open those hands. Don't go too wide with the hands, just outside the shoulders. Cloud hands, we just practiced this. Weight shifts to the left, right foot in, right hand is down. Step out right, shift hands, sweep and weight shift right. Look at your hand placement. Step, shift, and sweep. Step, shift, sweep. Step in, pause for a second, glance down. Make sure you have space between the feet. Shift and sweep. One more time. Step, shift, sweep. Step, shift. Sweep back to the left. Right hand comes back up. And we open and close. Single whip left. Weight shifts right. Adjust the left foot. Push both hands forward and flatten those hands out. Cloud hands to the left. Weight shifts right. Or yeah, weight shifts right. Left foot in. Left hand down. Step out. Shift hands and sweep weight left. Step, shift, and sweep. Step, shift, sweep. Step, shift, sweep. One more time. Step out, shift hand, sweep weight left. Step in, pause. Make sure you have space between the feet. Shift hand, sweep weight. All right, then bring the left hand up back into prayer hands, open and close. I'm gonna shimmy over here so I don't go off camera. We're going to do brush knee sequence now to the left. So I weight shift left. I adjust or toe in that right foot. I sink the weight onto the right. I turn, looking the direction I want to go. I do a sweeping empty step with the left foot. Then I shift weight left. Half step right foot. Play the loop. Turn the palms in. Step back on the right. Sink weight right. Half step left foot. Parry in, punch, turn the thumbs to the front. Step out empty to the left and then shift weight. Thumbs to the back, step out empty, shift weight. And then step out with the left, block and punch. Half step, right foot. Embracing the tiger, I step back empty on the right. Right hand wipes off the back of the left, embrace the tiger. My hands are shoulder width apart. They're not out here, in here. And then I push the mountain. Half step, right foot. 
Turn back to the front, open and close, brush knee sequence to the right. Weight shifts right, toe in left, sink left. Sweeping step, right foot and brush knee. Half step, left foot. Play the lute, turn the palms in, step back empty on the left. Half step, right foot. Parry and punch, thumbs to the front, step out empty right and shift weight. Step out empty left, shift weight. And then step out empty right, block with the right, punch left, half step, left foot. Embracing the tiger, sometimes called block and close, and pushing the mountain, half step, left foot. Turn back to the front, adjust the feet if you need to, open and close, and then close the form. Hands out in front of us, come back up to the standing position, weight shifts to the right, step in left foot, and go, ta-da! You're allowed to do a ta-da if you get all the way through that. Um, okay, so a couple notes, once again, Week one, I went into detailed explanation on two of those. If you look in the YouTube description, um, you can see uh, which ones I did the basic six, which is where you want to start, and then the advanced six. And you can look for detailed explanations on those, okay? Um, those are a real good tutor, and we're going to keep working with that, okay? Um, that about wraps it up for this hour. I want to note two things. Number one, um, a couple of you have asked about paying me. A couple of you have paid me, and thank you very much. Um, if you're able to, um, you can go to my uh, blog, and there is uh, one blog labeled payment information. Um, and if you're able to, great. Um, if you're not able to, believe me, I understand. Uh, these are, um, besides having the virus, they're very strange economic times also, okay? So if you can't, hey, that's okay. I want you to tune in every day. I want you to get the benefits of Tai Chi, and, you know, we'll be able to pay it forward later, okay? Uh, but if you are, check that payment information. Uh, thank you in advance for doing that. Um, we are going to take a 15-minute break, and we are going to come back now. If uh, Sophia told me that we had 50 viewers at one point, then that, that is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's a great point. Yes. Um, so anyway, so if you're still a beginner, you might want to join in on the next class because I think you will really enjoy it. Um, we're doing Tai Chi for rehabilitation. We're doing Qigong five element breathing. And that's the next class. Again, 15 minute break. And we'll do that tomorrow. I won't be uh, streaming here. I will be streaming. Um, I'll be working with my Parkinson's friends. So I have a link for that on one of my earlier blogs. I forget which one it is off the top of my head. Or you can go to the American Parkinson's Disease Association. You can go to their website, St. Louis Chapter, and you can click in there. I'm doing two classes tomorrow. One I call a blended class. It's a combination standing and seated. And then the second one is very similar to this class. Okay? Probably a little bit more detail, a little bit more instruction. Um, so, yes, anyone can stream into those. Um, they don't check you for Parkinson's disease before you do that. Um, or, of course, you can review any of my videos. Uh, I think that covers everything. Let's do our cool down exercises. First cool down exercise, lightly punch, slap the legs. Good job, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, next, tighten up all the muscles in the body, arms, legs, face, squeeze the muscles, and relax. And again, tighten up the muscles, squeeze the muscles, and relax. And one more time, tighten up those muscles, and relax. And finally, gather chi. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And one more time, inhale, and exhale. All right, get a drink of water, hydrate. We'll see you in 15 minutes. I'm gonna throw two new things at you, a good breathing exercise and a good rehabilitation exercise. Thank you to Sophia for all of her hard work. Uh, we will see you in 15, thanks.
on to the camera. <laughs> there's, there's not that many options. Somebody said I should come through the door, but that's a closet. <laughs> that's our front closet. Uh, all right, good to have you back. Round two, round two today. Um, sometimes in the second class, I teach more of an advanced class. And in some ways, you can look at this as an advanced class, uh, but you can also, uh, uh, beginners can do this one also, okay? So we're going to be doing Qigong, five element breathing. We're going to be doing Tai Chi for rehabilitation. We have a lot to work in. So let's get started with it. Um, we're going to have lots of fun. It's a beautiful day outside. So we're going to take advantage of that, that beautiful sunshine, that beautiful energy. Um, okay. So I'm assuming you know how to breathe and I'm assuming you know how to deep breathe. And since we're going to be doing Qigong five element breathing, we're not going to start this out with a breathing. We are going to start out with our warm up exercises. Um, but what I'm going to do today is, is I'm assuming that you know, these warm up exercises quite well. And since you know them very well, we're just going to kind of roll through them. We're not going to go fast through them, uh, but we are going to just kind of gently roll through them. Okay. So if you know the exercise, the warm up exercises really well, you can mark the tape, come back to here and just kind of flow through these exercises. OK, um, earlier this week, I talked about uh, the breathing as we go through the warm up exercises. I'm not going to do that in this case. We're just going to go through them and I'm going to tell you what the next exercise is going to be. OK, so starting out traditional Chinese bow, right hand fist, left hand fingers together, tuck into thumb, humility. And welcome, Ni Hao. Thank you to Sophia for being there, there in the producer desk and taking care of everything so well. Uh, we appreciate her dedication. Um, I will not be here tomorrow on this channel for my stream. I will be on my Parkinson's channel, so you can check that out. I'm taking the weekend off, and I will be back next Monday with a single class from 10 to 11 o'clock. I'm uh, pretty much going to keep to the same schedule we did this week for last week. It seems to be working out well. Okay. Standing in the Wuji position, knees bent, tailbone drop, head is lifted by the silk thread. Let's start with our warm up exercises, beginning with the chin tuck. Nice and slow. One more time. Looking side to side. I'm mirroring you, right hand, right shoulder. to center. Relax the hands down. Forward shoulder circles. Are we getting music? And reverse. Gathering Chi, reaching for infinity. Mm -hmm. 
touching heaven and earth. Exhale, relax the hands down, carrying the ball side to side. The left hand is on top. Exhale. the center. Exhale, relax the hands down. Side to side hip exercises. Stay safe. Use a chair if you need to. Exhale, relax the hands down, Chinese hokey pokey. Other side. Heel kick. Stay safe. Use a chair if you need to. Bow stance.
and ankles, heel toe. Weight shift, now right foot. Weight shift, little toe, big toe. to center. Relax. Beautiful. That's the warm-up exercises, all right? That's just flowing through them. People ask me about when I do my Tai Chi workouts. Um, um, when I do my Tai Chi workouts, normally I will do deep breathing like we normally do, and then I do the warm-up exercises, and then I focus on whatever I'm wanting to work on. So maybe I'll do my Tai Chi for arthritis, try and work on perfecting that, uh, soon 73 uh, there are a lot of different things we can do uh, but I always start out my workouts with a deep breathing it helps transition me from the crazy world out there to serenity inside um, and then those warm-up exercises kind of gives me an overall good good overall body workout kind of gets the gets the chi flowing in my body okay so that's the way I normally start it out so everybody good Give me a cheer. Yay. Woohoo. Okay. So, Qigong, five element breathing. Um, great way to do meditation. A couple of quick things uh, for the. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm wearing a Cardinal shirt today. If you're not from St. Louis, you're <laughs> Sophia says, if you're not from St. Louis, you're a slacker. Um, is it's opening day it would have been opening day today so i'm celebrating that with my cardinal shirt and of course stan the man um, so that's why i'm wearing my cardinal shirt anyway qigong five element breathing what is qi qi is an inner life energy it's an inner force it's not chi as in tai chi but is qi again life energy breath of life um, life force cursing and flowing through our body Chi is in the universe, and since we are part of the universe, Chi exists within us, okay? Chi Gong exercises. Gong, literal, literal translation, means hard working. So Chi Gong means uh, you're working hard at building your Chi, okay? So this Chi Gong five element breathing is a way to gently increase our Chi. Understand that the Chinese believe that our chi is stored in our dan tian. Excuse me. Sometimes referred to as our tan tian. Um, everybody, I'm assuming, knows where their belly button is. The dan tian is about an inch and a half or three fingers below the belly button and about an inch and a half inside. All right. So it's an internal. Think of it as a ball of energy. I like to think of it as like a kind of a spongy ball of energy. And so it changes as you get more chi, it kind of grows and expands. And sometimes you have days when you have weak chi, and so it could contracts, all right? A lot of these exercises where we're holding the Tai Chi ball, we're feeling that chi in our Dan Tian, okay? So these five elements are based around our Dan Tian, okay? The Chinese look at elements different than we look at elements. We Americans talk about elements, we look at a periodic table. Uh, the Chinese, believe that there are five elements and they all act and react with one another. There is earth, metal, water, wood, and fire. So you have those five elements that act and react with one another, okay? And that's what we're going to do is go through those five elements, okay? Um, so all centered around the Dantian, and everything returns back to earth, okay? 
So the first pose is the earth pose. I'm gonna get in a little closer here. We're gonna be in that Wuji position. You guys know this well. And my hands are gonna be in front of my Dantian. Notice they're not on my stomach. There's some space there. So looking at it from the side, there's some space between my hand, hands and the Dantian. Okay, I'm pulling my one hand away so you can see. What we're going to do is we inhale, we're gonna expand the hands out and exhale, bring the hands in but I'm never touching the Dan Tien, always leaving a little space. When you get really good at this and you start to learn to feel your chi, um, you can expand your hands and as you expand the hands, you'll feel the chi start to get weak and then bring the hands back, all right? So this is the earth pose and that's where we're gonna start is the earth pose, okay? Um, and let's just, uh, let's do that. Let's, let's just start at the earth pose and I'll, I'll explain each pose as we get to it, okay? So, um, you know what? I'm going to uh, check that. I'm going to switch that. I'm going to switch that. I'm going to tell you all five poses now, and then we're going to go through them. It'll lend a little bit more continuity doing it this way, okay? So, earth pose, hands in front of the Dantian, inhale, expanding, exhale, hands come back in. Next pose is metal. You'll hear me talk about this as in prayer hands. Again, I'm kind of close into the camera, give you a better idea here. So, the hands are going to open as you inhale and then close as you exhale. Very similar to the open and close we do in the Soon style of Tai Chi. Remember Soon Lutang was a uh, Qigong master before he was a Tai Chi master. And so you see this element in there, all right? Next is water. I have to back up and I'm gonna turn sideways. So my hands are up in the prayer hand pose, but as I do water, I just gently sink a little bit, gently bend the knees, and as I exhale, I gently raise up. So I exhale and inhale. I don't go into a real low stance. This is nice and gentle. We're trying to get the chi to flow a little bit, okay? So that's water. Earth, metal, water. Next is wood. I bring the hands palm up at the Dantian. As I inhale, I bring the hands up in like a circle so they end up palm down, kind of right, in, right above my heart, okay? So the hands palm up by the Dantian, palm down up by the heart. It's like I'm rubbing my hands around this big ball, okay? And then finally is fire. Um, with fire, I bring, uh, I'm going to mirror, so my left hand is out in front of me. I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to pull all the fingers and the thumb together, okay? And then turn it this way, and I bring that over the palm of my hand. So looking at it from the top, it's over the palm of my hand, okay? And as I inhale, I pull like I'm drawing fire out of my hand, and I exhale, push, the, push it back down, inhale, and exhale, then I reverse and do inhale and exhale. And when you get really good at feeling your chi, you start to feel a warmth, you start to feel movement, a sensation in the palm of your hand, okay? So we have earth, metal, water, wood, should be complete wood, and fire, okay? All right, so let's go through that. We're gonna do repetitions of three. We go through that in that order, returning to earth each time, okay? All right, standing in the Wuji position, knees bent, tailbone dropped, head is lifted at this, uh, by a silk thread. Put the hands in front of the Dantian. We begin with three deep breaths for earth. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Next is metal. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Returning to earth for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
and exhale. Next is water. Prayer hand position, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Returning to earth once again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Next is wood. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Return to earth for three breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. And fire. Left hand, palm up, right hand. It's called bird's beak. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Then reverse right hand up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Fire returns to earth for three breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Pause for just one moment. Do you feel kind of a presence in your hands? Some people will feel it as a weight. Some people feel it as like a magnetism. Some people will feeling, feel a tingling, kind of like an electric sensation. Or if you look at your hands, they're probably nice and pink right now, okay? You're feeling your chi, whether you knew it or not, it was there, all right? Some people will take five element breathing and then keep repeating that, going back to earth for three breaths. Um, earth, metal, water, wood, and fire. And you just keep repeating those. It makes a beautiful meditation. You can make that as long as you want it to make, to be, okay? All right, so we don't have a lot of time. We're gonna move on. Tai Chi for rehabilitation is next, okay? I'm going to get a drink of water. You probably should, too. I hope you remember that feeling of relaxation that you felt as you did the Qigong five element breathing. So if you deal with nervousness, if you deal with anxiety, um, try out that Qigong five element breathing. It's a beautiful calming exercise. All right. Shifting Tai Chi for rehabilitation, another form from Dr. Paul Lam's Tai Chi for Health series, okay? Um, the Tai Chi for Rehabilitation is a nice short movement, but it's a real beautiful one. Um, tai Chi for Arthritis can take a while to learn, to step through it. It takes a little while to learn. Um, and one lady came up to Dr. Lam and said, I really love your Tai Chi for arthritis, but I didn't have an instructor, so I learned it off of your DVD and it took me a year. She said, I really love it, but it, was, it took a long time to learn. So maybe you got to think about a shorter form. And so he came up with Tai Chi for rehabilitation, okay? And you see a lot of uh, Qigong in this one also. The cool thing about this is, is you see Soon style, Yang style, and Chen style all within the same form, okay? So let's go through it. I'm not gonna use a whole lot of repetition here because for the sake of time. So you can go, I'll go through the first form and if you're not understanding it, go ahead and push pause, rewind, 
and go back through it till you understand it and then step on to the next one, okay? So depending on how you like to learn, you can watch the whole thing and then go back and go into training with it, however you wanna do it. I'll let you do the repetitions. I won't be doing as much of the repetitions, okay? So the first movement is commencement and this is the Yang style commencement, okay? And I think it would be best if I mirror you on this one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and mirror you on this one. OK, so commencement is hands to the side. This is the Yang style of commencement. So I wait shift right. I peel the left foot off the floor. I step out. Hands up. Into prayer hands. All right. That's commencement. Let's step through that just a little bit. This is a pretty easy one to do, um, but there's a lot of subtleties in here, okay? So don't just rush through this. There's a lot of subtle things here, okay? Um, so we're standing with our feet together. Um, don't lock the knees out. A nice, just a little bit of a bend in the knees. So we start commencement by weight shifting to the right. So notice I have a slight shift of weight to the right. All the weight is on my right foot. All right, I peel the left foot off the floor. So I lift up the heel and then I step out empty with the left foot. I set down the toe and then the heel, but all the weight is still on my right. Then I shift my weight and I go into 50-50. Okay, so that's what I do with my feet. With the hands, as I begin commencement, I weight shift to the right, peel that left foot off the floor, step out empty, as I begin to center my weight, I bring my hands up. When my arms are parallel to the ground, my arms stop rising. I lower the wrist a little bit, turn the hands in into prayer hands. Okay? So looking at that from the side, I peel the left foot off the floor. I step, I should do that the other way, shouldn't I? Um, I peel the left foot off the floor. I step out, set the foot down. I shift my weight. My hands come up. When my arms are parallel to the ground, I drop the elbows, floating the fingers towards heaven into prayer hands. Okay? All right. That's commencement. Go back, rewind that one till you understand it well. Okay? Next move is that open and close. I talked about this a little bit yesterday in regards to Tai Chi for arthritis. This is the same open and close, but we are rehabilitating. And part of rehabilitating, um, if you're going through any kind of chronic illness, um, you want to deep breathe. It's one of the best things you can do. Your body is not gonna function well until you give it the proper oxygen, okay? And to give it the proper oxygen, you need to use all of your lungs, okay? And so the open and close that happens in this form, again, there's only three movements in this form, but we do open and close three, six, seven, eight. We do it nine times in this form. We do an open and close. That's how important the deep breathing is, okay? So when we're deep breathing, um, when we're doing the open and close, you want to breathe from the belly, all right? So as I breathe in, I'm going to duck this hand behind me. As I breathe in, the stomach is going to expand. And as, as I breathe out, the belly is going to contract. I use all of my lungs. If you do this enough, you'll start yawning. And you'll think, wow, Craig is really boring because I'm yawning when he's teaching. Uh, but then you'll realize that you're actually relaxing, and that's a good thing, all right? So... Um, the open and close, we just practiced this. This is the metal movement in Qigong five element breathing. Inhale and exhale. As I inhale, I'm expanding the chest and I'm lifting the head up by the silk thread. Exhale. You can also expand the hips, so I'm opening up the knees just a little bit and expanding the hips. So as I do this, I'm expanding my chest, my spine, and my hips, all right? So when you watch open and close, it isn't just open and close, but it's open and close. Go back, look at that. Look at open, close, as opposed to open and close. 
There's a difference there. It's a very subtle difference. It's a very powerful difference. It has incredible power, okay? So don't just phone in those breaths. Uh, those breaths are very important, probably the most important part of the form, okay? All right, moving on, cloud hands. We're used to doing soon cloud hand, where the lower hand is down and the upper hand is palm out, all right? That's the soon style of waving hands like clouds. In this form, we do the yang style. And the yang style is the upper hand is palm in and the lower hand is palm in down by the dan tian. We also do like a little stop sign as we do the yang style, okay? So, a couple of things about this. Um, I call this carrying the baby because if you look at it from the side, it's like you're carrying a big baby, all right? Both hands are facing in. Okay, another important focus and the, one of the reasons Dr. Lam used the Yang style is this can become a very reaffirming way um, to help ourselves. A lot of times we are very hard on ourselves uh, and we get into a negative feedback loop that we don't sometimes don't ever get out of. Okay, we can change that around and we can make that into a positive loop. Uh, a positive feedback loop, okay? Um, yes, there are always things we can improve, but we are good people, all right? Um, I, I know my students out there, and I see some, some great parents. I see some great grandparents, uh, spouses. I see some amazing caretakers, um, and I see just really good-hearted people out there, and I'm privileged to to have so many of these good-hearted people as my students. And so instead of looking at the negative side of things, and it's really easy in today's environment to see the negative side of things, but you know what, there's a lot of positive sides too. You've got an opportunity to spend more time with your family right now. Take advantage of that opportunity, all right? You've got more of a chance to get outside and go for walks. Take advantage of that opportunity. Can you imagine going through this in the dead of winter where you can't get out? So look at the positive things and talk about those positive things. This upper hand is talking to the heart, telling, you know, I'm a good person. I'm a good father. I'm a good mother. I'm a good grandparent. I'm a good sibling. Um, whatever, you know, there's lots of good things about you. So reaffirm that with yourself. And this lower hand is in front of the dantian. It's pulling in energy and it's creating this loop of chi throughout the body. Okay? So let's do uh, cloud hands. We're going to do um, in the form, we start by going to the left uh, three times. So I'm going to mirror you. So I'm going to go to the left. So we start, we do that open and close. Then we begin with cloud hands. So I weight shift to the right. I drop the right hand to the dantian. Left hand is on top, cat stance. And then I step out with the left and I weight shift to the left. I do a stop sign with the left hand. I step in with the right foot and then I shift my hands. The, the lower hand rolls in and then I sweep and weight shift to the right. I step out. Stop sign, shift hands, hold the baby, and bring the baby over to the left side. Step in with the right, stop sign, left hand, shift hands, hold the baby, and bring the baby back over to the right side. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to get in close to the camera here. So as I'm bringing the hand up in front of me, I don't just flick the wrist like this. I'm not just doing this with the wrist. Instead, I rotate from the elbow. So I rotate as I, as I get to the end of that, when I do that stop sign, again, I'm not doing this with the wrist. I'm actually turning the wrist by turning the arm. So I'm pivoting from the elbow here to do that stop sign. So looking at this in close, I'm coming in, and then I do the step, then the stop sign. I'm rotating from the elbow, then I shift hands, hold the baby, and bring the baby back over to the right side. And then again, I rotate from the elbow, stop sign, shift hands, hold the baby, and bring the baby back over. Okay? So that stop sign is a rotating of the hand. Okay? So I'm going to let you go back through that 
um, again, you can, um, you can stop, tape, rewind until you understand that. Footwork is the same. Uh, Yang style is Soon style. Um, my students of Soon style know that I use stop, shift, sweep. So in Yang style, it would be, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just mixed things up. In Soon style, it's step, shift, sweep. Soon style is step, shift, sweep. So Yang style is step, stop, shift, sweep. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. So that's the mantra you can use in your brain for that, okay? All right, now the next one. This is called exchanging yin yang energy. Love this. This is a beautiful move. If Ferhat is watching, I know he loves this. Um, so let me demonstrate it one time. I'm going to exchange yin yang energy to the left, but I'm going to mirror you as I do this. It's called exchanging yin yang energy. Okay, normally, you know I teach from the feet up. This time I'm gonna teach you the hands first, okay? Again, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of repetition. It's up to you to hit pause and rewind and do your own repetition for the sake of time, okay? So, prayer hand position. I'm gonna mirror you as I do this. I turn my upper body to the left. And then I imagine I'm setting a box down on the table on the left hand side. Then I'm going to release that box. But as I do that, I'm going to lift up from the wrist. So my fingers are facing down. OK, so I'm bringing the box down as I do. The movement comes from the wrist. So as I bring um, the hands down, I'm going to step in close here. I turn to the left as I bring the hands down. The wrist are the center are where the energy is coming from. I set the box down and then I lift up on the box. Okay, setting the box down, lifting up on the box or releasing the box. Okay, um, so I turn to the left, I set the box down on the table and I release the box. Then I, I like to use imagery here, borrowed from Ralph Denner. Thank you, Ralph, master trainer, amazing guy. Um, imagine there is a tablecloth on the table in front of you, and you're going to smooth that tablecloth with the palms of the hands as you move to the right. And then it didn't get quite smooth enough, so you're going to pick the hands up a little bit and then use the back of the hands and smooth the tablecloth back off to the left. Okay, let me get in tight here again. So I've set the box down, I've released the box. I'm going to smooth the tablecloth with the palms of the hands. Notice again, I'm leading with the wrist and the fingers are floating behind. Okay, depending on your flexibility of your elbow, wrist and fingers, you might have to rotate your fingers forward a little bit for comfort. Do whatever is comfortable for you. If you're able to stream the hand, the fingers behind you, that's beautiful. But I don't want you trying to wrench your shoulder as you're doing this. So if you need to kind of rotate the fingers forward, that's fine. I smooth the tablecloth to the right. It didn't get smooth enough, so I pick the hands up and go to the back of the hands and smooth the tablecloth back off to the right. Again, if you need to kind of rotate your fingers in towards you uh, for comfort, go ahead and do that. I don't want you to feel any strain when you are doing that, okay? So I turn to the left. I set the box down on the table. I release the box. I smooth the tablecloth to the right. I smooth the tablecloth to the left. So now what do I do? Now, as I bring up to the left, just as we did in Qigong five element breathing, where I bring the fingers together and the thumb, this is called a bird's beak. So as I bring my hands up here, I come into bird's beak and then bring my hands right up to shoulder height. The distance between the hands is the distance between the wrist and the elbow, okay? So you can actually see that this hand is covering the elbow 
from the camera position, okay? So I'm bringing my hands up, and now I'm going to spin the hands. So let's practice, let's practice that. Let me do this from uh, the follow-on position. Let me get in close here. I'm on the left side and I brought my hands up. So what I'm going to do and follow on is I'm gonna take my fingers, I'm gonna to move to the left, and I'm gonna spiral both fingers around, ending with both fingers to the left hand side. Is that on screen, Sophia? I can't really see. Are my hands on screen? Beautiful. Okay, sorry, I couldn't really see on that from that perspective. So that's the follow on perspective. I'm gonna mirror you as we do this. So I bring my hands up. So just let your hands relax for a minute. Uh, the best way I like to teach this is my hands are kind of uh, hanging down here and I'm gonna spin my hands. Hold it. This is counterclockwise, right? Yes, anti-clockwise if Austin is watching. So uh, I bring my fingers in and I'm spiraling them both around and the end, palms are facing forward, fingers to the left hand side. And again, I have that spacing. You can see this hand is right in the area of the elbow and my hands are at my shoulder height. They're not up in front of me or not way down here, okay? So the fingers are hanging down. I spiral them counterclockwise, both wrists simultaneously, ending with the palms facing forward, okay? Now I'm gonna add one little enhancement to that. Fingers are hanging down. I'm gonna kick the fingers to the left and then spiral both hands counterclockwise ending with the palms to the front, okay? All right, again, you can go back, rewind that one until you have that down. The follow-on, um, give me a little help here, Sophia. My hands are both on camera right now. Up, okay. Oh, well, it's gonna be blocked by my elbow, so, okay. All right, so looking at this one from follow-on, Okay, all right, so let's go through all of the hand movements. From prayer hands, exchanging yin-yang energy to the left, just the hand movements. I turn to the left, I set the box down on the table, and I release the box. I smooth the tablecloth to the right, palms of the hands. I smooth the tablecloth to the left, back of the hands. I bring the hands up on the left, I kick the fingers to the left, and then spiral both hands counterclockwise. All right, the final movement involves weight shifting. So we're gonna hold off on that. So now let's add weight shifting in. All right, do we have any questions, Sophia? Is everyone doing good? Oh, okay. Um, so weight shifting, let's practice that. In Chen style, so as you first learn this movement, um, your weight shifting is going to be kind of staccato style. Um, as you get better with it, you let the hips lead the rest of the body a little bit, okay? Don't worry about that element. That's for some of the people that have already done this. Uh, but when you want to refine this, you let the hips lead the body just a little bit, um, invoking that spiral energy, okay? So weight shifting. I start out prayer hand position. I turn to the left. As I set the box down on the table, I weight shift left. Notice I'm not leaning left. My body is staying nice and straight. I release the box. I smooth the tablecloth to the right as I weight shift to the right. And then I smooth the tablecloth to the left as I weight shift left. I keep the weight on the left, bringing the hands up shoulder height. And then I kick the fingers to the left, spiraling around to the left, ending with both fingers on the left hand side. Notice at this point, I've raised up my right toe a little bit, okay? Go ahead, shake your legs loose. Okay, so watch this part. I don't want you to wear your leg out, okay? The weight is on my left. My hands are out to the left. The next move is this pivoting forward, okay? Don't overcomplicate this one. Think of your left leg as like a door hinge that's pivoting. 
And what I'm going to do, notice my belly button is facing forward. I'm going to keep my finger right on my belly button. And now as I turn, I'm going to turn my belly button to the, hold it. I want to make sure I have this in the proper perspective. If I'm doing this from the left, I would turn my belly button to like the two o'clock position. Okay. So the weights on the left, my belly button is facing noon. I turn my belly button to the two o'clock position. And what happens is with my arms, as I turn my belly button to two o'clock, my arms come right along with it. Okay. And I'm looking right down my hands. So I use that left leg as a pivot. And you notice my right foot is pivoting very similar. Okay. Those of you that have done leisurely tying the coat with me soon style um, on the second chapter of leisurely tying the coat as I turn out, I turn my belly button and the hands and toes all turn with the belly button simultaneously. The same thing is happening here. The belly button is turning. I'm turning the belly button and the hands are moving right along with it. I'm not doing this with my hands, but I'm turning the body. Okay. So let's put all of that together now. Exchanging yin yang energy. Prayer hand position to the left. I turn to the left, set the box down on the table as I weight shift left. I smooth the tablecloth to the right, palms of the hands as I weight shift right. I smooth the tablecloth to the left as I weight shift left. I keep the weight on the left, I bring the hands up, I spiral the hands, and then pivot on that left leg. And then I turn my belly button to the front, I pull the left hand back, right hand comes forward, and I go right back into the prayer hand position. All right? So on that last one, I end up this way, I'm looking down my hands, you, you start, you look with your hands and you just follow your hands as your body turns. So from here, I bring the right hand forward and the left hand comes back. And notice I'm turning my belly button, turns forward. So I pull that left hand back. Again, don't overcomplicate this. As you do that turn, your hands fold exactly where you want them to be. Okay? Again, go back. In class, we would do this in repetitions and I would make sure that everybody has got it. Um, I'm sure you guys have got it. Um, or if you don't, just go back and review. Okay? So that's Tai Chi for rehabilitation. That's all the moves for the Tai Chi for rehabilitation. Now, let's put them all together. Um, we might have time. Let me do the... You've, you've seen them forward. So I'm going to turn around. We're going to do our follow on uh, for Tai Chi for rehabilitation. OK, and I don't have this up on my website, but I will try. Uh, Sophia, help remind me to try and get this. Uh, the moves for Tai Chi rehabilitation up on my website under the document and training library. OK. All right. So now turning my back to you, we're in the follow on mode. Tai Chi for rehabilitation, both sides. Standing up, nice and straight and tall, feet flat on the floor. Gentle bend to the knees, couple deep breaths. We begin with commencement. Weight shifts to the right, step out empty with the left foot. Center the weight, bring the hands up in front of us. Prayer hand position, open and close three times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Thank you. Cloud hands three times to the left, yang style. Weight shifts right, left hand is on top, I'm holding the baby. I step out left, sweep and weight shift left. Step in right, stop sign. Shift hands, hold the baby to the right. Step out left, stop sign. Shift hands, hold the baby, bring the baby over to the left. Step, stop sign. Shift hands, hold the baby, bring the baby over to the right. One more time. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, 
stop, shift, sweep back over to the right, stop sign, bring the hand up, back into your prayer hands. We're going to open and close one time. Exchanging yin-yang energy to the left. I turn to the left. I set the box down onto the table as I weight shift to the left. I smooth the tablecloth to the right, palms of the hands. I smooth the tablecloth to the left, back of the hands. I bring the hands up on the left. I kick the fingers to the left, spiral counterclockwise, and then pivot on that left leg and return to the front. Open and close. Exchanging yin-yang energy to the right. Turn to the right. Set the box down on the right. Release the box. Smooth the tablecloth to the left. Smooth the tablecloth to the right. Bring the hands up on the right. Kick the fingers to the right. Now clockwise, ending with both hand, fingers facing the right, pivot on the right leg, forward, come back to prayer hands, open, and close. Cloud hands three times to the right. I wait, shift left. Now the right hand is on top and I bring the right foot in. Step back out, sweep and wait, shift right. Step in, stop sign, shift hands, hold the baby, and bring the baby to the left. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, sweep. Step, Stop, shift, come back over to the left like you're going to do it again. Stop sign, bring the right hand up, back into prayer hands. Now we're going to open and close three times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And finally, the closing exercise. I put, bring my hands out in front of me like I'm handing a ball to someone and they don't want it. So I relax the hands down to the side, slowly standing up. I weight shift to the right, bring the left foot in and bring the weight back to 50-50. And then if Jeff is watching, he would do a ta-da. But I don't know if Jeff is watching or not. All right, how'd that feel? Good, 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 good. Um, that is Tai Chi for rehabilitation. Um, and you know what? Let me do this also. We have enough time to run through it one more time. So um, that last was a back on demonstration. I'm gonna do a front on demonstration so you can see the hands, okay? Uh, not a demonstration, well, yeah. It's Follow back way is follow on. Sometimes you still need to see the hands. So let me go through it one more time from the front. Okay. And I'm going to try and mirror and I start by going left. So I am in the proper place place. Okay. Sorry. I was thinking out loud. Occasionally it happens that I think it's kind of rare, but sometimes it does happen. And Sophia is agreeing with me. I don't know why she's doing that. Okay. We begin Tai Chi for Rehabilitation, mirroring from the front, commencement, weight on the right, peel the left foot off the floor, step out with the left, bringing the hands up, prayer hand commission, open and close three times. Cloud hands to the left three times. Weight shifts to the right. Bring the left foot in. Left hand is on top. Step out with the left. Sweep and weight shift to the left. Step in with the right. Leave plenty of space between the feet. Stop sign. Shift hands. Hold the baby. Bring it back to the right. Step. 
stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, sweep. Step, stop, shift. Come back over to the right like you're going to do it again. Stop sign. Bring the left hand up. Back into prayer hands. Open and close one time. Exchanging yin-yang energy to the left. Remember, I'm mirroring you here. I turn to the left. I weight shift left. Release the box. Smooth the tablecloth to the right. Smooth the tablecloth to the left. Bring the hands up on the left. Kick the fingers out. Spiral counterclockwise. Turn to the front. Or pivot. And now turn to the front. Open and close. Exchange yin yang energy to the right. So I turn to the right. I weight shift right as I set the box down. I release the box. I smooth the tablecloth to the left. Palms of the hands. I smooth the tablecloth to the right. Back of the hands. The weight stays on the right. I spiral the hands and then I pivot on the right. I return back to the front. I open and close. Cloud hands three times to the right. I weight shifts. I weight shift to the left. Right hand is on top. Bring the right foot in. Step back out with the right. Sweep and weight shift right. Then I step, stop, shift. Hold the baby, sweep left. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. Step, stop, shift, sweep. Step, stop, shift, and sweep. I'm enjoying this so much I lost count. Step, stop, shift, sweep and then make a stop sign bring the right hand up back into prayer hands we're going to open and close three times inhale and exhale inhale exhale inhale and exhale and then finally closing exercise hands out in front of us Hands to the side as we slowly stand up. Weight shifts to the right. Uh, and step in with the left. Sorry, my mirror got foggy for a second there. And that's Tai Chi for rehabilitation. And that was a face on view so you could see the hands. Okay. Uh, wow. We, ac we accomplished a lot in one hour. Qigong, five element breathing. Tai Chi for rehabilitation. Use your rewind button. So you learn those. Those are two real beautiful forms, and we'll practice those a little bit more, okay, um, and on, on another day. So I want everyone to have a good weekend. Um, you can drop in and see me uh, on the APDA website, APDA St. Louis website tomorrow. If you want to do class with me, you can go back and review the videos. If you have any questions, of course, email me. You can contact me through the website. There's the documents and training library um, in which I have some resources that will help you uh, with some of the different forms. I am constantly updating that, constant being a relative term. Um, and I appreciate all the great comments, all the great notes. Any more comments, let me know. Um, and uh, don't forget if anyone is, is interested in, uh, you know, if, if you're financially capable, of uh, sending me a payment feel free to do so that information is in my blog also thank you very much happy opening day and pardon me oh cool down thank you sophia cool down exercises thank you thank you thank you that's why i'm blessed with such a beautiful and talented producer keeps me on the straight and narrow tighten up all the muscles in the body and relax Tighten up those muscles, relax, and one more time. Tighten up the muscles and relax. And finally, gather chi. Inhale 
and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Have yourselves a great weekend. I'll see everybody live on Monday at 10 o'clock. Uh, we will have one lesson Monday, 10 to 11. I'll put the uh, next week's schedule up on my blog. It's going to pretty much equal this one. Thanks to Sophia. She's doing a wonderful job, not only with uh, producing, but the cat meows and the outtakes at the end with the dogs. All right. Thank you so much. Great day, everyone. Thanks.